Hey everybody, this is Ty. I'm going to be talking about the BitConnect close and the aftermath and some of the promoters, what they've done and how they've reacted to it. Those of you that don't know, BitConnect is a lending platform that a lot of people thought was a scam and a Ponzi scheme, including myself. I made a video of it. It was kind of a matter of time of when it was closing, but a lot of believers, because it had over $2 billion market cap and a lot of people put a ton of money into it because they were making great returns. On uh, January 16th, they issued a statement saying that they are halting the lending platform. Two days prior, uh, the exchange was closed or the lending platform was closed. Nobody could log in. Nobody could take out any money. And so after the statement, they actually let people log in that was lucky enough to log in. I'm not going to read the statement word for word, but basically what it says is they are closing, not because they're a Ponzi scheme, but because of all the bad press. Uh, two states, the state of Texas and North Carolina, issued a cease and desist, and then they would also have continued DDoS attacks, which is a load of BS, but they are so nice because they gave you your money back. Not your money, but BitConnect coins, which are completely worthless. They didn't give you Bitcoin back or cash back, but they gave you your coins back at such a reasonable fee. Um, let's take a look at what has actually happened. Um, it is currently $21.26. It's gone from $200 down. At its low, it was actually a little under $5. So there's still actually people buying it. You can look at the markets. Um, hit BTC, it's $20. People are actually buying it for $32. I don't know who is still buying this or actually think it'll be worth anything. But anyways, uh, they issued another statement and they said that they are still continuing with the BitConnect X ICO, which is an exchange, and they are going to be uh, listing BCC as one of their first coins to list and they're going to value it at $150. I don't know really what that means. I don't know if they're going to put a buy order for $150 for uh, BCC and then it's just going to drop. It's gonna, I mean market is always going to even out. They're going to list it at $150 and then it'll probably drop. So if you get on the exchange and you're that lucky first person to sell your uh, BCC at $150 then go for it. Oh, I thought it was kind of interesting on the uh, website. So we're on the website. They have not updated their chart. So you're still, the chart's updated till mid uh, 15th of January, and it's still showing at $300 a BitConnect. Um, you can even look on their training platform. I never signed up for BitConnect on news game. And I, 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 don't, I don't like getting in scams. I do risky investments, but scams I'm not going to get into. So you can see it's still um, listing it at $232. Unfortunate stories. This was trending on Reddit, and I'm getting it off Twitter because they actually closed down their Reddit site. You can't get on their uh, BitConnect Reddit site. But someone invested $500,000 in BitConnect, put his whole family all his family's business. He got a business loan and now he is completely broke and um, he doesn't know what to do. I, I feel really bad for this person, but I kind of do not. Um, it, it's very unfortunate that he lost as much money, but the writing was on the wall. If you typed in BitConnect on Google, there was scam written all over it. So to risk all that money, for something that could possibly be a scam, I think that is just that's just very foolish of this person. I do feel really bad for him, but there is um, sure a lot more stories like this where people invested way more than they could afford to lose. I've got a lot in crypto, but um, if if it went away, yeah, it would be bothering me, but I, it's not going to break me. Don't ever invest more than what you have. Uh, some of the YouTubers, uh, so like the promoters, you've got Trayvon and uh, Crypto Nick. I guess those are the bigger ones. They they both made millions of dollars on BitConnect, and they still have you know millions of dollars because they took it off BitConnect because they knew it was possibly a scam. Trayvon posted this on Twitter, and actually one of my replies got one of the more trending replies. But he said, you only lose when you sell. Um, I reply to hear you, Trayvon, still holding my Enron stock and haven't lost a cent on it. Basically, 
yeah, you can hold and there's, what's the point of holding something if it's worthless? There's still people buying BitConnect thinking that this thing is going to rise, but there's there's no way that this thing is going to ever be $200. It might get to $50 somehow. But if, if you're involved with a scam, then what you do is you close down the operation, put in a new uh, name, and then start over and do another scam. But I, I'm actually surprised that they're actually still going with the ICO. These, whoever they are, um, behind BitConnect should be in jail. Trayvon, he did a live stream. Uh, he actually took it down and very unsympathetic. He's just like, well, whatever it's your money i mean i'm just telling people what i did and so very unsympathetic and uh, a lot of racist stuff towards him which is unfortunate but he just he, he was just very unsympathetic and he said that he's going to um keep his channel and then get on steam a lot and um i guess look for the next big money those of you who don't know i think he came from Coles. he said that in his life i've never that was his first video i saw I, I don't really care about this stuff but that was the first video i've seen but he came from Coles, and he has made you know probably a couple million dollars and i've seen he's posted his portfolio his block folio and he's got a bukus of money and other coins so i'm sure he'll be okay crypto nick i uh, actually i've never seen one of his videos either but he's a big promoter he's got almost 200,000 subscribers same thing very unsympathetic he was just saying that uh yeah he feels sorry for people that lost some money so these promoters do not feel bad whatsoever that they may have misled people and uh, I mean, they've made their money. He does talk about in the video that he had one hundred fifty thousand dollars in BitConnect, which is nothing compared to what his um, what he's made in it. So he's taken a lot of money off of it, and now it's only worth ten thousand dollars. So he lost one hundred forty thousand dollars. Big deal to what he's actually made. Um, uh, kind of kind of disgusting uh, that you can't even apologize for maybe misleading some people it, i thought it was kind of funny in his video he did say um i doc and then he cut himself off really fast um saying that he documented all his stuff but he does not uh document his stuff anymore because he took all of his bitconnect videos off and same with trayvon and a couple other promoters that i'm not going to even um talk about that is basically what has happened, how some of the promoters have reacted. Uh, lesson learned, don't, if something might be a scam and th there's a possibility that it might not be, but if, if a good majority of people are saying that it's probably a scam, then you could make a lot of money, but um, there's a big chance that you're gonna lose almost all of it, if not all of it. I, I personally do not get involved with any lending platforms like the uh, lending um, mining companies. I know they're they're really big, but uh, they could shut down overnight, and there's you know there's all the money you put into it. I think you can make way bigger gains in investing in ICOs, alts, or Bitcoin. Um, that you don't need to fall into these things. Um, We'll see. I'm kind of curious to what is going to happen in the BitConnect uh, X with their exchange, if anybody's going to use it. Like I said, if you do have BitConnect, I know the website, a lot of people can't withdraw their BitConnect because it's just overloaded, which I do not doubt. If you are able to get on the exchange and be that lucky person to get the first uh, buy order at $150, and I guess you got some of your money back, but probably not a whole lot. I'm sorry for anybody that has lost money on this platform and just just do your due diligence and research any coin you invest in any ico you invest in and just do never invest in something that you can't afford to lose it hurts losing money but it should never break you or affect your family i hope you like the video let me know in the comment section uh, if you are invested in bitconnect and what you think about it and what you think about the ico i'm curious to know i always respond to my comments and thank you for tuning in